Welcome back to the channel everybody. This is four of running, having fun on the run or whatever we've called this series because it's all about training and how you kind of work your way between two training blocks and primarily having some fun. So yeah, we are at Waterloo Station today in the centre line because we're heading down to Southampton on the south coast because I'm going to be doing some more testing. If you remember at the start of my last sort of big thing we did um, sort of VO2 max and lactate threshold testing to get with the heart rate zones, which today got something slightly different uh, coming up so yeah we'll have a chat about that uh, but yeah just walking past a little fun fact there's this pub just here at uh, the station where I actually kind of handed in my notice quit my sort of corporate job in the past so it's always nice to come back and just see that and see the life we're now living through YouTube and running and everything it's amazing where your life can take you take a few risks and see what is in store in the future who knows what we can do but anyway we've got a quickly have some breakfast, get on the train down to Southampton and then yeah we'll have a chat about the testing and everything coming up. But yeah welcome we've got a great video in store so stay tuned it's coming up. Quick stop in prep for breakfast. Right guys, it's time to get on the train. We've got breakfast on board and Sarah is now panicking because she hasn't got her second coffee of the morning. No, but I'm fine. No, I'm no, fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. She's flagging, it's nine o'clock and I haven't had two coffees. I'm going to die. Right guys, we're just heading down to Southampton, just coming into the station. And yeah, just have a quick chat about what we're up to today. So we're going to be doing some metabolic efficiency testing, or ME testing as it's called, uh, which is all about um, how efficient I am at various different uh, paces at burning fats and uh, carbohydrates as fuel. Um, and then, so they'll go through, we'll explain all of this as we're going through it in the session, but it's just about trying to see where you're at now and then see some changes you can make so you can um, sort of improve your training to be burning more fats as fuel, uh, which is really, really important for endurance training because, yeah, our body, even the leanest, leanest people have got about 10 times the amount of fat stores as we do to carbohydrate stores. So if we can burn more of that fat in endurance running, um, or endure, any sort of endurance sport really, then it's got to be a good thing. So this is just seeing where we're at now, so we can make a few little tweaks and changes, and then, um, yeah, going forward, so you can come back and see how we can improve to be burning more fats as fuel um, in our endurance events. So yeah, that's what today's all about, and I'm learning as well as we go through all of this. So uh, yeah, next time you see us, we'll be in the lab. So what we're doing here today is called a metabolic efficiency test and the idea behind this is to look at how my sort of body is fueling itself and what fuel I'm using at different intensities. Um, so knowing all of this and knowing how it, it fuels itself will allow sort of me to fuel better going forward and to try and become less reliant on carbs for sort of the runs and the races that I'm doing. So the test starts out very, very relaxed, just sitting on the treadmill to try and get sort of, see how my body is hopefully using fats as fuel at that point in time. Pretty much everybody will be using fats as fuel um, during that sort of resting state. Um, yeah, so that's sort of why we start things off very, very slowly. So then the intensity increases, we start to run and the body is gonna start using carbs as fuel getting that from glycogen, which is easy available um, as that sort of fuel source um, early on. So what we're looking at is this crossover point where I sort of stop using those sort of fats as fuels and that sort of decreases and the amount of carbs um, increases and then we'll get sort of a rough sort of speed um, at which at what point that is occurring. And then yeah, we can hopefully sort of make some changes to try and get that a little bit higher going into the future. That's sort of how the test sort of works basically. And yeah, we'll talk about some changes we can make coming up. Right guys, so let's take a look at the results. So yeah, this first sort of blue line here is the amount of carbohydrate that I'm using at various different intensities um, as the treadmill sort of speeds up. And the red line is the amount of fat I'm using for my fuel as well. So yeah, very, very early on, you see this crossover point 
uh, just here. Um, yeah, which is basically as soon as I start running, my body is preferring to fuel that from carbohydrates. Very, very low down and really not what I was expecting. I feel like I can run for a very, very long time without fuel. But uh, yeah, that's really quite exciting in a way because then we could, I've got some great potential going forward in the future. So yeah, let's chat about some ways that we can change this and get that crossover point a little bit further on. Okay, there's no current right or wrong answer, but some of the things that can have improvements on this uh, crossover point is uh, intermittent fasting. So that's mm, fasting for short periods, nothing too long nothing unhealthy it's just short periods even putting breakfast back in one hour will yeah. make a difference um, it's about doing it over a long time and that will make the difference the body can take up six weeks to adapt to anything so you've got to give it at least that amount of time to see yeah. even the slightest of changes um, other things you can do is exercising fasted again only for short periods nice and easy just allows the body to fuel off what is stored rather than what you've eaten and used because the carbohydrates burn so quickly. Um, if you are fasted overnight and then you do a fasted run in the morning or cycle, um, it will then use your fat, stored fats as the fuel for that exercise. Okay. Um, but again, you will feel hungry for anyone that doesn't do that. So you just got to keep it light and short and the body will just begin to adapt. Super, super low intensity. Yeah, and then another final good area to improve is what you have for breakfast. So again, when you first thing you, when you wake up is you kind of crave these kind of carbohydrate sugars. So most people go straight for cereals, toast, things like that. If you can go straight to fats and proteins, whether it's uh, nuts, protein shake, things like that, that can adapt your body to fuel from them because you're not giving it anything carbs straight away yeah. so it's gone fasted and then straight into a fuel of fats and proteins so it then starts to use those as the fuel source rather than carbohydrates but again it doesn't have to be all day it could just be the breakfast and then lunch back to normal carbohydrates it can be one two days of the week that you do that just slight changes and the, just the to get your body used to yeah, bear fats. And the adaptations will occur over time Okay. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and there's a few little pointers there to help you with your running and a big thank you to the guys and girls at Southampton Solo University for yeah for putting me through those tests. I'll link all of their details down below. Yeah, they've got all sorts of um, amazing kit and testing they do down there. So whatever you're after, some lactate threshold or some of this metabolic efficiency testing, yeah, get in touch with them down below. And also thanks to them for letting us have a go on their Alter G uh, treadmills, which was really good fun. Uh, yeah, very odd. I've never been on one sort of running with that sort of like weightlessness um, about it. And yeah, it's really quite nice. And so yeah, I'm going to be putting a lot of these um, ideas and practices into action now to try and improve my own um, sort of efficiency there and getting used to burning more. Hopefully trying to burn more fats as fuel for all the ultras and the marathons and stuff we've got coming next year. A lot of that success will depend on some changes and tweaks we can make here. So yeah, lots of stuff to get stuck into coming up and yeah guys thank you so much for the support the likes and the shares and all the support you guys give to the channel and the patreons especially as well couldn't do it without all of your support you make this happen and yeah we've got made lots of amazing sort of training videos and all sorts of stuff coming up into the new year so that's it guys i'm off to have a nice avocado breakfast and so i'll see you in the next one